So inside paste, I will say count. Let's say count and I'll put a hyphen and then I'll put a comma and I'll give this variable number, this variable name. Now, what will it paste? It actually will, what it will print is, it will print count, then there will be a hyphen and the number saved in this variable. First number, it will be zero because initially it is zero. Now, once this get executed, this statement, what should be the next statement? My wins should increase by one. So I'll say wins equal to wins plus one. Let's take it together, whole while block, and I'll print it. So if you see, it kept repeating until it reached the last number, until it is less than 10. So it started with zero, what was initially the value in wins. Then it printed counts with because it added one to it. So the next number in this wins becomes one, which is again less than 10. So it printed count one. Again, it added one to it, which becomes two. Now it contains two here, which is again less than 10. So it printed count two, then count three. So it will keep re repeating till count nine, because after it, it will add a one, which will become 10 and which is equal in which is equal to 10 and it will stop and come out of the loop. So this is how while loop works. Now let's understand for loop. So for loop, I'm creating a variable here with five numbers. Let's execute and print it. So these are the numbers present in this variable V, the vector, number numeric vector. Now what we will do, we will create a for loop. So for for what inside it, what I will say for i in v. Now, what does it mean? I in v. This i is nothing but a name for variable. It's an array index, whichever number present in this variable, in this vector. So it will check the vector. It will take the first value, let's say one. So it will say one in this vector v. For that, what will it do? It will print. What I want to do is for every time number is available in this V, all those numbers will be printed if this until this condition is met. Let's execute it. So what happened? It it counted it. So for one in V, it prints I, the value of I. The second I is two which is present in V, so it printed that value. So it will keep printing till the last number is met, which is five. When we reach the last number, it came out of the loop. So this is how for loop works. Let's take one more example. Let's say there is a vector X. Vector X, which contains some values, let's say two, five, Three, nine, eight, eleven, six. So these are the random numbers that I have taken. Let's execute it. Let's create this uh, vector. Now what we will do, we will create one more variable. Let's say count equal to, let's say value is 10 in it. So we'll create a loop which will contain both of, which will relate both of these. So for value in x, now, value here means all these numbers. So it will be, value will contain two initially, then five, then three. It will keep changing with the numbers in this x vector. For value in x, what should happen? Until this condition is meeting, So this loop will work until the value of any uh, value in X is checked. And for that, I'm giving a condition. So if value, so this value, which is taken here, it is less than count, this variable. So if it, and the count contains 10. So until this value, which is checking in this vector, 
it is less than 10, what should it do? It should do count equal to count minus 1. So we are subtracting 1 from count every time by checking this loop and it will print count. So it's a random loop that I am creating. I'll just print this as well. So I'll select all the uh, rows for the for block and I'll execute it. So how does it work? So first number was two. The first number was two. The first value here, it was two, which is less than count, which contains 10. So it is less than 10. So it reduced one from that count and printed it. So the first value was nine. Now this count contains nine in it. The next loop will work. It will again work for the next number, which is five, which is again less than count. And it will again reduce one from it. So it becomes eight because it reduced one from it. This condition was met and one was reduced from the count. Let's see. The next number is three, which is again less than count. It, the count contains eight in it, which is less than three is less than eight. It will again reduce one number in count and will print seven. Now the next number is nine. Now count contains instead of 10, here it is now seven. You check it's seven. The last number it contains is seven. Now the number in X is nine, which is greater than seven. So this time it will not get executed and it will directly print count, which is the same value. Same for the next two values as well because 8 and 11 both are greater than 7. Again, 6 is less than 7. So it, the condition is met and the statement got executed. It reduced 1 from the count and last print is 6. So this is how you can create a loop, a for loop in R. There is something in for loop which is called as break statement. Let's see how to use a break statement as well. So this is the vector we have already used, which contains five values in it, one to five. What we will do, we will create a for loop, which says i in v. It will start with a curly bracket. And inside this bracket, we will give a if condition. So if i is equivalent to three. So I have given here two, two equal to, which is, says equivalent to make it e to check it it's a it's kind of a check operator so it will check if i is equal to three it will give a break and i will close it and else it will print i and else it will print i Let's see, is it working or not? So I'll select everything. So what will happen? It will check the values. It will count the numbers in V. When it reaches three, it will break and come out of this loop. Let's see, is it working the same way? So it, it checked first two. When the first value was one, it got printed. Second value, which is less than three again, it was not equal to three. So it again got printed. Now, when it reaches three, because we have given the condition, when it reaches three, it should break and come out of the loop. So that happened, it came out of the loop. So this is how we can use if else statements and loops in R.